and welcome to another video of EVE Online. So just recently there was, a, there was an expansion set released uh, that uh, added the walking in stations. So this is the station here. This is not what the video is going to be about though, I just wanted to start in here. This video is going to be about uh, mining. So I've got together a whole bunch of different mining ships and I'm going to show basically an, an evolution or a progression in mining in EVE Online. So, uh, get up, get up here, stand up. <laughs> stand up. Okay, I don't know how to do that. I did, uh, I managed to get sit to, to get seated. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's, let's walk. What is going on? I move, okay. Okay, we're finally, uh, we're moving. And I'm just going to show you what the, the hangar looks like. There's actually a lot of people mad in, in the EVE Online that they removed uh, when you get into a station. It showed you kind of a bird's eye view of your ship, like I'm going up to now. And you can uh, spin your ship. Just, just search on YouTube for EVE spinning, EVE ship spinning, and you'll see what I mean. So people are kind of mad about that. So I assume it'll be back. Um, so, But anyways, here I'm going to start with the first ship. This is uh, called the uh, Ibis. This is the Kaldari newbie ship. So if you start the game, you will, and you start as a Kaldari, those four races, remember, then you will start as this ship right here. So we're going to start with that one. We're going to undock and uh, begin uh, some mining in the, your very first ship that you will get. And it's free. It's a free ship. Strangely enough, you actually cannot get this ship on the market. Uh, the only way to get it is to get out of the ship into your pod, which is the smallest uh, ship you can, uh, the smallest thing you can fly in space is a pod. And then go to a station that has nothing in it, that you have no other ships in, and the game will grant you an Ibis to fly around with. So that's how you get one. So strange, there's some rats actually out here. I don't know why they're out here. All right, so we're going to warp to a belt. So these little triangles out here are actually asteroid belts. And you can actually also right click on space and go to asteroid belts. And you can see them all here. Now keep in mind that some systems have no asteroid belts at all. So that, you might see that. But uh, pretty much high sec, uh, there's asteroid belts in every system, I think, in high sec. So we're going to warp to a belt. I also have a few blue, uh, a few uh, bookmarks here, so I'm actually going to warp to a bookmark, which is already in an asteroid belt, and that's just going to save us a bit of time because when you warp to an asteroid belt itself, you will warp out to about 30 kilometers away from all the asteroids, whereas the bookmark I have here is bookmarked to be about maybe seven kilometers away from the asteroid belt. So the reason for that is, of course, the range on the mining laser. So this newbie ship starts with a, a civilian gun and a civilian miner. So that's what we're going to use, a civilian miner to start with. It's pretty crappy. The ship is pretty crappy, but uh, you have to start somewhere and that's going to be this ship. This is the newbie ship. So here's an asteroid belt. So if you get into a system that's a quiet system for mining, such as this one, so th um, uh, I'm in Gurus right now, which is near Jitta. Jitta is the big market hub of EVE. Um, if you go to a system that's not mined uh, that much, you're going to see humongous asteroids. Oh, look at this one. This is huge. Look at this asteroid. That's ridiculous. Okay, so let's see where we are. So we are this tiny little ship right here. And I'm going to switch the overview up here to mining. So it'll show uh, what's here. So. Here's of all the math, the asteroids that are in this particular belt. Now there are different, there's a whole bunch of different asteroid types and the types depend on where you are. They depend on the system you are, the security level of the system. So let's start with regular Veldspar, which is the baseline um, asteroid that will be, if there is an asteroid belt, there will be Veldspar. So I'll just find one here. There's some Veldspar right here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to lock it. So it's, there it is, that roid right there. So I wonder what the range on these things are. I think they might be the 10k. Okay, here we go. So I'm mining the first asteroid here, this Veldspar. And there's my little miner. 
They actually recently changed the, uh, uh, the laser, and I actually don't like it as much as the old style. But it's kind of a blue thing now. It actually looks like the ice mining lasers, because there's also ice in this game. I, I got to show you that too. I guess I could do that as well. So uh, we're mining some, uh, some belts bar, and as you see down here, this is a cycle. So when this gets all the way around, then we're actually going to get some belts bar in our cargo. Here's our cargo right here. And for some reason, uh, for some reason, the newbie ships, they give you one tritanium, which is a mineral. It's actually the mineral that you, when you refine this feldspar, you get the tritanium. So based on my skills and based on the type of mining laser, so this is a civilian mining laser, we're going to get a certain amount of feldspar per cycle, and it'll show up right here. So there's, a, there's how much you get. So notice that the cargo of this crappy ship is pretty tiny. We're going to fill up with Veldspar and probably two and a half cycles will be done. And at, at that point, you will need to go to a station, unload, and then come back out here again. Another thing you can do, which some people do, who's that over there? So there's somebody in the Hulk. We'll get to those Hulks. Those are end game mining vessels. What some people uh, do is they will jettison their cargo, jettison the mineral. And what jettisoning will do is it'll produce a can strangely almost the size of my entire ship although I can produce an infinite number of these um, there, is, there is a timer though I think every two minutes or so I can I can pop out a can this can holds 27,500 meters cubed <laughs> yeah my ship only holds 120 so eh, oh well but uh, so what you do what some people do is this is called jet can mining so rather than mining into your cargo which is limited you can mine into a jet can, and you can. I could be here all day with this ship. I would certainly be here all day. Um, the only problem with this is it's not secure, so somebody can come by and steal my ore from this can. What happens is, um, because if they do that, I get kill rights on them, so then that means I could go and blow them up without Concord, which is the police in this game, the NPC police. I can go and attack them without them intervening. The problem is once I attack them, they now have kill rights on me, which means then they could blow me up too without Concord intervention. So it's not a really a good idea to hunt down ore thieves. If someone steals your ore, you might as well just uh, you know forget about it, go to a different system, or uh, um, get uh, giant secure containers, which you can also dump out. Um, the prompt, the uh, benefit is so that they have a password, so you can't just open them up and take people's ore. All right, so we've done three cycles now of Veldspar, and I think we've seen enough of this crappy ship. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to uh, switch out to the next miner, and uh, which is also a frigate, and I will show you that in one second. Okay, we're back to the next ship. I thought it'd be kind of neat to show you uh, what it looks like inside the station here. And unfortunately, I can't twist it around to show you the front, but this is kind of the side. Actually, it does look like it's solely revolving, doesn't it? So the next ship, this is a, also a frigate, and actually, um, I'll start undocking. Actually, this ship, they just uh, put in um, the tutorial missions. So I think you actually can get yourself a, um, a Bantam, it's called. It's, that's a Kaldari Kadal Frigate Miner Ship. You can actually uh, get them from the tutorials now. So there it is there. And I assume the pod goes up in this little windowed spot here. It's also called a Batman. I don't know why. Um, maybe the wings. Maybe the wings here. But uh, also the name sounds like a Batman. It's called a Bantam, but some people call it Batman. So we're going to fly to the back to the belt, the same belt, and hopefully our can is still there uh, that we've been mining at. So this particular ship actually has two spots for... Um, actually, I guess the other one did too. But only it came with a one mining laser. This spot, this ship has two spots for mining lasers, and I did put on uh, miners, minor, mining lasers that I had on me, and that were Miner 2s. You won't be starting with Miner 2s when you begin the game. You'll start with maybe Miner 1s or those civilian Miner lasers. So these are upgraded lasers. But uh, that, uh, that doesn't really matter for what we're doing here. So there's our can. It's still there. So we're going to move up to it. So we are 4,000 meters away or 4 kilometers away. So we'll move up to it here. And then we can start using it again. So at this point, I also want to mention that asteroids... Um, there are different types of asteroids, like Veldspar, for example, but there are also different concentrations. 
So regular Valds, Valds bar is, uh, uh, well, it's regular. Um, there's also concentrated belts bar, and here's a here's one right here. It's actually a pretty big, pretty big roid, pretty big asteroid of concentrated belts bar, and that concentrated uh, prefix actually means that it, it contains five percent more mineral when refined. So let's mine that one. So here's one mining laser activated, and here's second. Here's the number two mining laser activated. Okay, so the cycle speed I think is the same. It's just the quantity mined per cycle is higher for these particular mining lasers. As well as this ship has, um, has uh, what would you call it, bonuses to, uh, if I can get it here. This particular mo uh, ship has bonuses. So let's see. So based on your Kaldari frigate skill, it has 5% more cargo capacity and 20% bonus to yield, to mining laser yield. So if you have level 5 Kaldari Frigate skill, then you will get 100% bonus, or you'll get double the, the mining yield of your, from your lasers. So here's our cargo. Remember the last uh, newbie ship was 120, so this one has almost 300. Now my, my Kaldari Frigate skill is at 5, so when you start the game, oh no, I can't even take a whole cycle, look it's already done. Uh, so let's put that in the can quick. Now notice that because I, my cargo filled up on me, one of my mining lasers quit on, uh, automatically, so that will happen. So I can just simply turn it back on again. And now we've got two going as well, two going at the same time. So one thing I did not fit on this ship, and I will for the next ship, is you can put on cargo extenders in the low slots. So I can uh, open this up, I think. So here's the fitting of the ship. So I've got mining lasers up here, and these low spots down here, you can actually put cargo extenders, and that would crank up this, this number. Uh, these spots are me mediums, so these are for like shield upgrades and all come, uh, ca capacitor upgrades, which is this little thing here, all kinds of stuff. And these are rigs, which do sort of the same thing. They're, you can increase anything with rigs for almost. So here we got one, one of our miners uh, finished cycling, and we've got some ore here. And then this second one is almost finished. And as soon as it finishes, it will give us some more. So notice that this was actually not a bad idea. If you've got mining lasers that um, will not, if one mining laser uh, yields or it fills up more uh, of your cargo than uh, your second mining laser is able to fill as well, then you want to stagger the cycles as I've, as I've done kind of accidentally here. So you notice that this one is almost finished, this one just kind of began. So that way um, it, they won't uh, fill up your cargo and shut off on you. So for example, people will do that when they're ice mining, um, and that way they're not losing ice cubes. Okay, so I think we've seen enough of this one. I will next show you, um, not a mining ship per se, but it is a common mining ship amongst um, how shall I say, farmers. So I will show you that next, and I'll also have some cargo, cargo extenders on, and I'll show you that too.